In a previous video, we saw that buffer solutions are composed of a weak acid and its conjugate base, or a weak base and its conjugate acid. As a result, buffer solutions follow the common ion effect. How does the presence of the common ion effect alter the way that we calculate the pH of a buffer solution? In this video, we'll learn two methods for determining the pH of a solution. In the first method, we'll use our familiar ice tables along with the common ion effect to find the pH of a buffer solution. In the second method, we'll introduce the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which can be used to calculate the pH of a buffer solution. In this problem, we're asked to find the pH of a buffer solution that is composed of 0.100 molar acetic acid and 0.100 molar sodium acetate. In this version of the problem, we'll use ice tables on the common ion effect to find the pH. We start by writing the ionization equation for the weak acid. In this case, we know that the acetic acid is the weak acid and it reacts with water and it will be in equilibrium with a hydronium ion and the acetate ion C2H3O2-. Now that we have the ice table, we can begin by putting in the initial concentrations. We know we'll ignore the concentration of water since it's in the liquid phase. We know the initial concentration of the acetic acid is 0 0.100 molar. In previous examples of using ice tables, we assumed that the hydronium ion concentration and the acetate ion concentration were zero because the acetic acid has not ionized yet. However, in this buffer situation, the buffer has the acetate ion present from the sodium acetate. So the initial concentration of the acetate ion in this example would be 0 0.100 because all of the sodium acetate ionizes to form acetate ion and sodium ion. The concentration of the hydronium is still zero because the acetic acid has not yet ionized. We can now complete the change row using X so the acetic acid will decrease by x, while the hydronium ion will increase by x, and the acetate ion will increase by x. The equilibrium values for the acetic acid will be 0 0.100 minus x, for the hydronium ion will be x, and for the acetate ion will be 0 0.100 plus x. We'll go ahead and use the assumption that x is much smaller than 0 0.100, which means that our equilibrium concentrations will be 0 0.100 for acetic acid, X for hydronium, and 0 0.100 for the acetate ion. We can now write the acid ionization constant expression and look up the value for the Ka for acetic acid. So we have Ka equals the hydronium ion concentration times the acetate ion concentration divided by the acetic acid concentration, and the Ka has a value of 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. Plugging in the values, the Ka is equal to x times 0 0.100 divided by 0 0.100. The two 0 0.100 values cancel, and so we find that x, which is the concentration of the hydronium ion, is 1.85 times 10 to the minus fifth. We now need to check our assumption about the value of x being smaller than 0 0.100. So 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth divided by 0.1 times 100 indicates that it's 0.018%, which is much less than 5%, so our assumption was valid. Now we can calculate the pH of the, of the buffer solution, so it's a negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth, which gives us a pH for this buffer solution of 4.74. When wanting to know the pH of a buffer solution, there is a much faster way to get to the pH. This is known as the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, and this says that the pH is equal to the pKa for the weak acid plus the log of the ratio of the concentration of the base divided by the concentration of the acid. For the same buffer we had in the previous slide, we'll use a slightly different concentration of the acetic acid and the sodium acetate. In this case, the acetic acid has a concentration of 0 0.110 molar, and the sodium acetate has a concentration of 0 0.090 molar. First, we're going to need the pKa in order to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. 
We know that the Ka for acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5, so the pKa is equal to the negative log of Ka, or the negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5, which gives us a value of 4.74 for the pKa. Now we have to identify the concentrations of the base and the acid. We know that the acetic acid is the acid component, and the base will therefore be the acetate ion. So we have pH equals 4.74 plus the log of the base over the acid concentration, or the pH equals 4.74 plus the log of the ratio 0.090 divided by 0.110. So this tells us that the pH is 4.74 plus the log of 0.8181, or when we enter that in the calculator, we see that the pH of this buffer solution is 4.65. This is slightly more acidic than the previous slide, which had equal concentrations of acetic acid and sodium acetate. We would expect this buffer to be slightly more acidic because we have a slightly higher concentration of the acetic acid and a slightly lower concentration of its conjugate base, the acetate ion. After watching this video, you should be able to find the pH of a buffer solution using ice tables and the common ion effect. You should also be able to find the pH of a buffer solution using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation.